come what may, my answer will be. It is time for our first word, spiritual vitamin. And this evangelist is coming from the city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And she's going to give, the Lord has given her, let's give her a warm IYC welcome for evangelist Bianca Ellis. Come on, put your hands together all over this place and begin to bless the name of Jesus. Uh, come on now, you can do just a tad bit better than that. Come on, you can do better than that. Put your hands together all over this place and magnify the God of your salvation. Come on, I'm talking about your healer. I'm talking about your savior. I'm talking about your deliverer. I'm talking about your way maker. Come on, put your hands together and bless him, amen. Amen. We say praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. We, bring, we give honor to God who is the head of our lives. Amen. Amen to this great body of preachers. Amen. The protocol has already been set. I'm going to move expeditiously into the word of God tonight. Amen. I'm going to ask that you turn really quickly to the book of uh, Joel, the second chapter, and we're going to go to the 32nd verse. Amen. Amen. The book of Joel. Amen chapter 2 and verse 32 and for sake of time i'm going to read it in your hearing amen and the scripture reads and it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be delivered for in mount zion and in jerusalem shall be deliverance as the lord has said and in the remnant whom the lord shall call amen and the word of the lord is blessed amen if there should be a quick title of what i'm going to talk about tonight it's going to be just give me jesus amen just give me jesus in this particular passage of text joel writes in response to a devastating attack by locusts there was a drought that was in the land, a season where everything was unfamiliar and destruction was in the land. Have you ever found yourself in a season of your life where everything was unfamiliar to you? A season where, as a matter of fact, we've all been through a season where everything was unfamiliar. We just came out of COVID-19 and COVID-19 changed the trajectory of what we knew life to be. It caused many of us to experience great losses. It's a season of destruction that was in a land. It, it changed the world, uh, shut down everything that we knew. Some people lost their jobs. Some people lost their homes. Some people lost family members and friends. The world shut down and many of us were called away from church. We were unable to be in church due to the world shutting down when we were already hanging on by a thread. We were already barely making it and then here comes the world closing down, taking us away from the church where our help was you have to understand my bishop always used to tell us he said if you take a fish out of water the fish would die and if you take a saint out the church the saint would die and he didn't say that an aspect uh, to a natural death but rather a spiritual death would take place and if we be completely honest in the middle of COVID-19 a lot of us experienced a spiritual death we began to go through a spiritual drought yes don't get me wrong we had the word of God on TV yes don't get me wrong we had church going through live stream services but it was was no longer a consecrated space for the word of God to come forth. We could scroll on social media and see carnal things and then flip over back to the church service. We could cook, clean our house, take road trips and then call ourselves saying that we were still focusing on what the preacher had to say. But if we be quite honest, most of our, us were depreciating spiritually then the world started to become back semi-normal right and then we started to come back to church and we resumed our positions as if nothing ever happened we started back singing on the praise team we started back ushering on the door we started back shouting and dancing because we were grateful we started back serving as adjutants and ministering in the kingdom of god but we knew we weren't fully in position uh, striving like everything was normal but we weren't in our 
our rightful places, shaking like Samson, but we did not have any power. This is the place that they found themselves in in this particular passage of text. In fact, the Bible lets us know that the what the locust didn't eat, the pommel worm ate. And what the pommel worm didn't eat, the canker worm ate. And what the canker worm didn't eat, the caterpillar came and ate. What that translates to is that if it's not one thing, it's another. Have you ever found yourself in a season of your life where everything was going wrong? You were depreciating spiritually. And the only thing that you knew is that you needed to get closer to Jesus. Is there anybody in the household tonight that came to our triple E saying, Lord, I'm weary in my well-doing, but I'm in need of a revival. Is there anybody that came to our triple E tonight saying, Lord, I didn't come here tonight for another financial blessing. I didn't come here tonight for another house nor another car, but Lord, I came here tonight because I'm in need of revival. Help me, Holy Ghost. There's a drought in my spirit that the doctor can't fix. There's a drought in my spirit that the lawyer can't fix. There's a drought in my spirit that not even the preacher, help me, Holy Ghost, is able to fix, but just give me Jesus. If that's you tonight, I come with good news, letting you know that the Lord said, I'm going to restore unto you the years that the canker worm, the pommel worm, the caterpillar, and the locust have eaten away from you. Just by chance, you lost strength in the middle of the pandemic. Lift up your hands, oh ye kings, and be ye lifted up, your everlasting doors, and the king of glory, he shall come in. Who is this king? This king of glory, he's the Lord God, he's strong and mighty. I'm talking about the king of glory, he's the Lord God, he's mighty in battle. The king of glory, I need you to understand that if you need revival, you need to open up your mouth and begin to call on Jesus. Open up your mouth and begin to call on Jesus for whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered if you need deliverance call on Jesus if you need revival call on Jesus for he so God have highly exalted him and he's given him a name that is above every name that at that name every knee shall bow and every tongue is gonna confess that Jesus, he's the Lord, Lord over my mind. He's the Lord, Lord over my members. He's the Lord, Lord over my soul. Who is Jesus? He's my savior. Who is Jesus? He's my deliverer. Who is Jesus? My redeemer. Who is Jesus? My way maker. My miracle worker. My promise keeper. Light in the darkness. Lily of the valley. Rose of Sharon. Bright and morning star. Who is Jesus? Jehovah Jireh. Who is Jesus? Jehovah Nisi. Who is Jesus? Jehovah Roha. Who is Jesus? Jehovah Rapha. Who is Jesus? El Shaddai. Who is Jesus? Elohim. Who is Jesus? El Elyon. Who is Jesus? Jehovah Sikhanu. Who is Jesus? Jehovah Makadesh. Who is Jesus? The man that feels sorry for me. Who is Jesus? The man that came to save me. Who is Jesus? The man that fell asleep on the boat. Who is Jesus? The one that said, peace be still. Who is Jesus? The man that cried when Lazarus died. Who is Jesus? The one that said, Lazarus come forth. Who is Jesus? The man that died. Who is Jesus? The one that got him all set back up. Who is Jesus? God in creation. Who is Jesus? Son in redemption. Who is Jesus? Holy Ghost in the church. Who is Jesus? He's my Lord. Who is Jesus? He's my Savior. Who is Jesus? 
my deliverer, uh, revival giver, uh, chain breaker, uh, open up your mouth uh, and shout cheers. Somebody shout Jesus.